Welcome back to another Iron Sharpens Iron video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you can get these notifications to every new video. The history of Satan, past, present, and future. Man, you guys are gonna learn, uh, you, you're definitely gonna learn something today. You clicked on a very good video, you're gonna learn something today. So the history of Satan, it began with riches and honor. Satan had a glorious future, y'all. I'm telling you, he had some good stuff destined for him. Then he became jealous and proud, he got that, that proud look, and he refused to repent, and his future became dark. The events of history continue uh, as Satan comes to earth and tries to become the god of this world, which he is, he's the god of this world. And Satan has caused more sorrow, pain, and death than any other individual in the history of the world. He delights in destruction. Satan would like to destroy every person on earth. He does not care about you. So we're going to go ahead and start it off. You got to go all the way to the beginning to know the story. So the past. Satan was created, created by God thousands of years ago as a perfect angel. Satan was called Lucifer and lived in heaven. That's, that's, that was his name at first, Lucifer. Lucifer was above every other angel in heaven. His appearance was beautiful and dazzling. He radiated light and glory. He was covered with gold and shimmering jewels. Lucifer was the chief covering angel and he worked in the throne room of God. He, he, he covered, he, he was the covering, he was a reflection of God. In uh, Ezekiel 28, 12 through 14. You were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The uh, serodius, topaz, diamond, uh, bear, on, onyx, jasper, sapphire, turquoise, emerald with gold. The workmanship of your uh, timbrels and pipes was formed for you on the day you were created. So that, that number, verse 13, right, that right there. The, when it's talking about the workmanship of your timbrels, pipes, that uh, he was created with pipes in him. That his job, he was the the angel of music. And a lot, man, I'm telling you, a lot of people don't know that. That was his first job. He was a covering angel and he was music. That was him. Music, he was the first, that, I'm telling you, music started with Lucifer. So, uh, you know, he, he definitely in the music today. He never lost that ability. But... Um, and continue. You were anointed cherub who covers. I establish you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. Lucifer spent a lot of time with God, the father of Jesus Christ, of course. They met together frequently and shared ideas uh, and made plans. They were very close to one to one another with perfect harmony. So again, this is all the way back in the past, before Jesus, before Adam, before the fall, all of that, before Earth, he was, you know, him and God were pretty close. You know, they perfect harmony. He was the the covering angel, and like the scripture was saying, he was made with all these jewels. He was beautiful. I'm telling you, Lucifer was beautiful. Yeah, he he looked good. He they was like man, perfect everything. He, he shined, glimmered, had all these jewels. He had pipes inside of him, music. That was him. He looked good back in the day. So now we're going, you know, skip forward to prison a little bit. So, he, like I said, he got beside himself and God kicked him out. You know, he, he wanted to revolt. He wanted, he got beside himself and he wanted to be the same as God. He was like, well, why, the, why are you on such a higher pedestal? He got beside himself and then he wanted to get, you know, noticed and glorified as much as God was. But he's not God. So, you know, he... It's only guys not sharing the spotlight with nobody, nobody, and he didn't he didn't want to share the spotlight either. So he had to go and get the bags. And yeah, he had to go, had to skedaddle. So if you get to the present, Satan is alive and real. He did not die. He got kicked out of heaven, but he did not die. He is still here. He got the name Satan after he was thrown out of heaven. So Lucifer was his first name, and well, that was his only name at the time. But then after he get kicked out, he, he lost his name. He lost his title. He wasn't the covering angel anymore. He wasn't, the, you know, that beautiful, you know, he wasn't that anymore. So he, he lost that. But nowhere in the scripture, y'all, does it say that he lost his ability for music. 
So man, that's he he still is very, very in tune with music and he's using that today against us. That's like his secret weapon. So Satan and his angels uh, and demons, like a third of them got kicked out because some of them went when they was like, you know what, I'm on your side, Satan, fools. You know, they, they was with him and they got kicked out of heaven too. I don't know why you would do that, but they, they fell down with him, a third of the angels. And uh, they, they tempt and influence people on earth, but most of the time they are invisible to us. They are what we call in the spiritual realm. So there's the natural physical realm that we all can see and all of that. And then there's a the spiritual realm, which we cannot see. We, we can't see anything in the spiritual realm. The demons, the, the Satan, that's what they're all in. They're, they're in that spiritual realm. We, we can't see that. We don't see the physical. Satan has many names. He's also called devil. That's, that's one of the, yeah, everybody knows that one. Devil, dragon, serpent, Beelzebub. Uh, a Baden, a, a Pylon, and many other names. He has a, he has a lot more uh, in the Bible. It, it, it'll list them all. He, he has a bunch of names. And then now we're going to go to the future. And basically what's going to happen is his ultimate end. So future, very soon, Satan will be released from the spirit world. He's going he's gonna to go ahead and get up out of there. And he's going to appear on earth in his glorious physical body. And Satan will be called the beast. That's what the, the book of Revelations, uh, it refers to him as the beast. He will pretend to be God and he will have the appearance of God. Which is basically, he's going to show up and he's going to say, uh, yeah, I'm God. And a lot of people, many will be fooled. Many will be fooled. Many people are going to really think that the person that calls himself God, it's because they don't read the Bible. They don't read the Bible. And the Bible tells us, it tells us he's going to come down and he's going to say, I'm God. And it's, Jesus is saying, don't, don't believe him. Don't believe him. So he's going to come down and say he's God, fool a whole bunch of people. He's going to do signs and wonders. I'm telling you, it's going to look real good. It's going to be very, very, it's going to be like, man, you sure that's not Jesus? But we all going to know that's not Jesus. So he, he's going to trick a lot of people when he comes back. And uh, the beast in his name uh, for Satan, when he comes uh, back to the visible earth, claiming to be God, his demons will come with him and they will appear to be angels from heaven. So they got the whole kitchen sink going. They got everything. It's going to be like a whole circus act. He going to come. He going to have his ministers of uh, his ministers, his goons. His, uh, he going to have all of them with him. His little minions, and they gonna pretend to be angels of light. They gonna be it's gonna be the biggest magic trick, fool, foolery. Like man, they gonna trick everybody, a lot of people, and yeah, they they gonna be here on earth. Well, how long would the beast be on earth? You know, how long is he gonna do this? Well, Satan will be given three and a half years, and uh, as the visible God in this world. So, God, it's already written in the Bible. And God has already said, all right, um, you're going to get three and a half years. So he's going to get three and a half years full about, I'm telling you, I wouldn't be surprised if 80% of the world just, you know, signs up to think that this dude is legit. So three and a half years, he's going to fool a lot of people. And during that time, he will try to convince every person on earth to worship him. Do not be deceived. He is not God. You should not worship him. Satan will be physically on this earth for three and a half years. During that time, he will disguise himself as God. And then after those three and a half years, he will be put in the bottomless pit for a thousand years. During that thousand years, Satan will not be allowed to tip, uh, tempt any people. Now, and you can, you, we all know who's going to put him in that pit for a thousand years. Yeah, boy, you bet your bottom is going to be Jesus. He's going to come on down from heaven with the real angels. And Jesus, you gonna, it's going to be the real Jesus. And he's going to put that dragon right on in a pit, lake of fire, and he, that's going to be his hell. And then if we look at Revelations 20, 1 and 3. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, the serpent of old, who is the devil in Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And it came to pass the bottomless pit and shut him up to seal on him so that he should not deceive the nations no more till the thousand years were finished. But after these things, we must be, he must. In other words, he, he going to get what he deserves. That lake of fire will be his home for eternity. 
they went up to breed of the earth and surround the camp of the saints at the beloved city and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. The devil who uh, deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. So that's that's the history of Satan, past, present, and future. This is uh, something a lot of people don't know. A lot of people aren't told this. So, you know, if you learn something, which I'm pretty sure just about everybody did, because I didn't know this until the research was done. I just, you know, learned this recently. So, you know, please share this information. When you fully understand your enemy, then you will know how to battle him and ultimately, ultimately defeat him. So don't forget to like, dislike, comment, subscribe. As always, we're too blessed to be stressed. Stay blessed by the best. Don't forget to pray for the rest. And until next time.